Hey there, how are you? We have learned in our uh, 11th and 12th class that zero factorial is equal to one. How to prove uh, this thing uh, that zero factorial is one. So we will start with an integral. Okay, it's very simple. It starts with an integral e to power uh, minus alpha x dx is equal to. Now if we integrate this, we will get one by minus one by alpha e to power minus alpha x zero to infinity. Okay, so if you solve this further, you get e to the power minus infinity is e to the power zero, which is this get becomes zero. This is one, so minus minus plus this is one by alpha. So this is the integration result we have. All right, this is equal to one by alpha. Now if we differentiate it again under the integral sign, which was a favorite of Feynman, uh, Richard P. Feynman. Um, uh, and we see what we get with respect to alpha. We differentiate under the integral sign with respect to alpha. So this is the result which we have on the left hand side. And this is one minus alpha square. Okay. So just removing the negative signs, what we have is x e to one minus alpha x dx is equal to one by alpha square. All right. Again, differentiate this thing with respect to alpha. Okay. Remember, we are differentiating with respect to alpha, not with x. With respect to x. So again, we have this thing. Dx is equal to this is minus two by alpha cube. Okay. Remove the negative signs. We get x square minus alpha x dx is equal to two by alpha cube. Again, we differentiate with respect to alpha. Okay. We get this is minus x cube minus alpha x dx, and uh, this is minus uh, three into two by alpha cube, right? So uh, if we rearrange this thing again, we remove the negative signs. We get e to x cube minus alpha x uh, e to the power minus alpha x. This is three factor. We can write it as three factorial, right? If we multiply by one, we can write it by as three factorial. This one as one factorial, uh, two factorial. This one as one factorial. Okay. So uh, this is alpha four. So what we can see in general, in general, we observe that zero to infinity. This is x n minus alpha x dx gives us n factorial, all right. And this is alpha n plus one, right? This was n. This is n. This is n plus one. So where n is greater than or equal to zero, or we can write down n is a non negative integer okay n is non negative integer it has to be non negative integer because we have treated it uh, taken n to be that right now we using this rela uh, relation this is this is the factorial function okay this is the this part is the factorial function okay factorial function now if you take this this integral and put uh, alpha to be one, put alpha equal to one. So what do we get? Zero to infinity x to power n e to power minus x dx gives us n factorial, and there's a one one to the power n plus one. So this becomes one, right? This is what we get. Now if we put n equal to zero, what do we get? On the right hand side, if we rearrange this thing and put it like this. We get on the right hand side it was the zero factorial, and uh, we can write this one as zero to infinity. This is x zero e to power x dx. Okay, so further we get zero to infinity e to power minus x dx. If we solve this integration, okay, which is e to power minus minus of e to power minus x zero to infinity, uh, we get um, minus this is e to power minus infinity e to power zero. This this is zero right, and this is one. So this is uh, minus one, so this becomes one. So we get zero factorial is equal to n, and hence proved. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day.